Right, a change from normal vlog. I'm gonna do a fight prediction for tonight. Haven't done one of these for a while. I used to do them when the fights were on, but I just haven't been doing them. Now, UFC 249 is on tonight. It's a biggie because there hasn't been any live events, sports events on anywhere because of the COVID. So the fact that they pull this off, it's pretty good. So Dana White and the UFC got it together. They went to Florida, no crowd, just the fighters. So it'll be interesting to see. They've been testing them all for COVID, all the staff, all the fighters, everyone there, and they've got away with it. Pulled it off. Jack Array tested positive for COVID today. He's off. Uriah Hall was meant to fight him, and that's that gone. So there's only three fights I'm interested in. Pettis, Cowboy, Cerrone, Henry Segudo, and Dominic Cruz, and the main event, Tony Ferguson and Justin Gaethje. They're the only three fights I'm interested in. The rest, I'll watch them, but I'll be excited about these ones. So the first one I'm interested in is the Cowboy Cerrone, Anthony Pettis fight. <coughs> now, Cerrone just came off a loss against Connor and he ran through him. And I'm sure for him, there's nothing worse than just being ran through. We don't even get one shot off. You don't even hit the guy once at that level to just get annihilated like that. And it's his third loss in a row. And I'm really hoping he wins this fight. I'd love to see him win this one. Pettis on the other side is, he's lost his last two. There was one stage where Pettis, I would have loved a few years back when he came out for us he was one of the best strikers there was and I just thought he would have been a great matchup for Connor when Connor was on the way up before I was involved in any of it and I would have thought the two of them would have been a great but something happened with Pettis where he just he was really good and then he just went off the boil whatever happened to him they've met before Pettis stopped Cerrone in the fourth round caught him fresh fourth round with a liver kick Robbed him, and he didn't recover from the liver kick and finished him. But that's it's not really, you know, it's kind of like it's like catching someone in a, a guillotine on a double. You didn't really beat them, you know, you just caught them in something, you know, you just got caught. Um, so I'm hoping Donald uses the energy he got from the last fight and gets the win back. I'd like to see him win. He's a nice guy, and I've always been a fan of his. And, like I said, the last loss has been a hard loss for me. He's an emotive fighter. And I, I suppose as an athlete, I was always an emotive athlete. Everything would be based on my emotions. So if I wasn't in good form that day or something was annoying me, I just don't perform. It's just one of those things. And some people just have this like factory worker mentality to show up same time every day and they work the same amount of hours and they're just there, boom, 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 boom. And some people can perform like that where they just have that switch that they can just hit. Donald doesn't have that switch. He, he's, he's, like I say, he's either on or he's off and depends what's going on in his head. You never know until he shows up. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping the guy shows up. I'm hoping he wins. So I'm gonna go with Cerrone on this one. Segudo and Dominic Cruz. Now that's an interesting one because Segudo has been, he's a winner. That's one thing that he is. He was won the gold medal in the wrestling championships, knows how to win. And he's been running a storm. I think his last loss was the Ultimate Fighter um, final. And that's his last loss. But he's been on a bit of a storm at the moment. I met him once. We met him on the Diaz 2 camp. I was talking to him. He was in that Ultimate Fighter gym and he was there they just finished he's tiny though he's very very small he's like a like a like a miniature person and he was asking like we wanted to give a dig out and show some wrestling and stuff like that but that never happened what i dislike about him is the way he tries to perform before the fight it's a little bit cringy as in you can tell it's he's trying to kind of hype himself up and Try and be more like Connor does, but Connor just does that naturally. You just can't invent that. You know what I mean? Just do your own thing, be your own style. You know, like Dominic Cruz does his own thing. He just 
he's witty, he's very dry humour, he's very analytical, smart guy. Whereas I found with, uh, <laughs> with watching Segudo, like even yesterday, he pulled out these cushions with heads on them over a bag and starts kicking them and saying stuff. But the pathetic thing is then he has to go and pick them up and put them back in his bag. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it doesn't really work. So I'm, I think what will happen when that fight is, obviously there's a height difference. Dominic Cruz, he's always suffered with injury in his, um, in his fight career. There's one thing about him though, he's a very, very intelligent fighter. And you can see by his, well, he's an, an, an analyst as well. So the way he analyzes fights and the way he breaks down fights, he's very, probably one of my favorite ones and you know you can see the fight and say what's going on what the guy needs to do the other thing he has is this he has these very strange patterns of movement that he does almost like a a dance step where he does these kind of like backwards forward sideways all sorts of ways he's like a bit like the wonkavator <laughs> the wonkavator yeah it's like an elevator an elevator goes up and down but the wonkavator goes every direction from willy wonka so he's a little bit like that. He moves every direction. He has these little patterns that he sets up for traps. And if you don't know what the steps are, because he, he mixes them up well, it's hard to know which way he's going to change direction to. And he keeps his hands nice and low. He's quite a tall guy. And Segura's going to have to shoot in fast, and he's a very fast guy. He's going to have to shoot in, take him down, hold him down, beat him up. And I see that happen, but also I see Segura getting slower as the fight goes on and maybe getting caught with an uppercut on the way in. Just being confused by which way the guy is going to go and he shoots expecting him to be in a particular spot and he's not there and he's in another spot and just gets caught with an uppercut and I think he'll get staggered and I think he's going to get finished. I think Cruz is going to finish him in the later rounds, maybe the third or fourth round. That's what, that's what I think. So my last one is the Ferguson Justin Gaethje fight. Super interesting fight. So you've got Gaethje, who's just this explosive banger. Like, you see stuff he does. He runs up the cage, stands on the top of the cage, and backflips off. Like, he's, a, he's just a ball of, like, spring. Explosive. So guys like that will, will knock you out if they hit you right. But he's, he's a little bit too gung-ho for my like, as he's a little bit too basic. He's a bull. You know what he's going to do. He's just going to charge at you. And the thing about the guy is he'll stand there and he'll try. He's known for his leg kick. So what happens is people fall into this. They're known for, I'm, I'm a leg kicker. I'm going to kick people's legs. So they have to almost like perform up to that character that they've built up to. And it doesn't seem to change. But he's willing to break his leg off your leg in order to kick it, which I find a little bit stupid. Um, and he's been caught a couple of times now where he's been, been finished a couple of times over just stupidity, just going forward doing the same thing and not rearranging or, or, or changing. Alvarez finished him nicely. You know, he's just kind of like, he just, he's just that, not that bright as a fighter. I think Ferguson has a, has a lot more tools, variants, degrees of weapons that he will use. How I'd see this fight going is if Gaethje can catch him early with, with a hard shot early, maybe finish him early. But the longer this fight goes, the, 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 the more I see him being read very, very easily because of his basic style. He just wants to stand there and bang. And with a guy like Ferguson, I think he'll measure up where he's at. He'll get out of the way and catch him with something. Probably probably an elbow or knee, you know. And, and the more the fight goes on, I think it fa favours Ferguson. Plus, he's a little bit nutty, you know. He's been, he's been sectioned there for, for losing the plot last year. So, you know, he's, 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 you know, he's got a great belief in himself, which makes a big difference. So, I think, I think Ferguson's going to win this fight. That's who I think. That's how I think. So I've got Ferguson, if I'm going to call it. Ferguson, Dominic Cruz, and Cowboy Cerrone. That's my three for tonight. Right, I'm working on a vlog. 
I've uh, been busy doing some videos for McGregor Fast. We're banging together some, some little bit of a project going on at the moment. So I've been busy doing that. I have a load of content done for the vlog. And I did a great epic story last night. And I'm going to bang that out tomorrow. So if you're looking for the vlog, manana. All right, so you'll have the fights. If you go to bed, you'll have the fights in the morning. And then you'll have the vlog. All right? All right, that's my pick. Rather.